Hello, in this video, uh, I will talk about the Hicksian demand function, Hicksian demand function or the compensated demand function, the expenditure function and Seifert's lemma. So to explain these concepts, uh, let us take a simple example. Uh, let, us, let us assume that the consumer uh, has to obtain fixed utility U0 from the consumption of two commodities X and Y. So his utility has been fixed at U0. Uh, the, to derive the compensated demand curves or the Hicksian demand curves, we set up the expenditure minimization problem. Expenditure minimization problem as minimize uh, his budget which is price of x times x plus price of y times y uh, such that his utility is fixed at u0. So the Lagrangian function is uh, simply this objective this objective function plus Lagrangian multiplier times the homogeneous version of this budget constraint sorry homogeneous version of this constraint which is u0 minus xy the first order condition are the first order condition is that the partial derivative of uh, this L with respect to these three variables should be zero. Uh, when we differentiate L with respect to x, we get p x. Uh, its derivative is zero. Lambda y and its derivative is zero. Uh, similarly, if we differentiate L with respect to y, we get Py, uh, its derivative is 0 minus lambda times x. So on division, we get Px over Py equals to y over x. This gives y equals to Px over Py times x. Now, we substitute that result in the utility function u0 minus xy equals to 0 and uh, this is the value of y we just derived minute ago uh, and we put the value here and this becomes x square time equals to u0 py by px and x equals to square root of positive square root of u0 py over px and similarly y can be expressed as square root of u0 px by py so these these, these two functions are called the compensated demand curves or the Hickesian demand curves and can also be expressed as x c c refers to compensated y c c refers to compensated and these are the parameter on which the compensated demand depends so the square root sign can be expressed as uh, this power one by two power 1 by 2, power minus 1 by 2. So these, these two are the compensated demands for the two commodities. Now, uh, some interesting feature of uh, this compensated demand curves can be listed. First of all, the compensated demand curve does not depend on income, rather it depends upon, it depends it depends upon you the level of utility fixed level of utility fixed and prices one another feature is that in this case it is non decreasing in utility non decreasing in utility level Another feature is that it is decreasing 
in own price. Decreasing in own price, but non decreasing in other commodities price. So, so what this means is that if price of Y rises, if price of Y rises, the compensated demand for X rises. If price rises, X becomes uh, relatively expensive. X becomes, sorry, if price of Y rises, Y becomes relatively expensive and X relatively cheaper. So the consumer raises the demand for X commodity. So one another feature is that here cross price effect are not zero. Cross price effect are not zero. What it means is that in this case even the change in price of Y changes the demand for X commodity. So now we move to the expenditure function. If we substitute the values of X and Y in the form of compensated demand curves just derived in the budget, we get the expenditure function. So this is PXX. So we put the value of compensated demand function here. We put the value of compensated demand function for Y here and we get the expenditure function. So expenditure function is also it is non-decreasing in utility level, non-decreasing in utility uh, and it is non-decreasing in prices. Now we go to Seyfert's lemma. So this is also a very important concept. It simply tells that the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to price simply gives us the uh, Hicksian demand function or the compensated demand function. So if we partially differentiate the expenditure function with respect to the price of x, we get the compensated demand for x. So this is compensated demand for x commodity. And if we partially differentiate the expenditure function with respect to price of y, we get the we get the compensated demand for y commodity. So uh, this can just be verified with our example. So compensated. Uh, Sorry, the expenditure function is 2 times u0 1 by 2 px 1 by 2 py 1 by 2. If we partially differentiate with respect to px, we get this value which is the compensated demand for x commodity. And again, if we differentiate e with respect to py, we get this value which is the compensated demand for y commodity. So Thus, in case of utility maximization problem, in case of utility maximization problem, we can derive the Marshallian demand curves, Marshallian demand curves, and from that we can derive indirect utility function, and from the concept of indirect utility function, we can derive wage identity. On the counterpart from expenditure minimization program EMP, we can derive the Hicksian demand function or compensated demand function, Hicksian demand function. From this we can calculate the expenditure function 
and from expenditure function we can so that the safer name so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel to get more videos in the future